Hey, what is good, YouTube? You're tuning to A1 Gaming TV, and we're back with another video. So, as you see, we're playing Forza Horizon 5. So, go ahead and hit that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe. I figured I might as well start giving y'all tunes on Forza because I have over 300 cars, and I give y'all like no limit tunes on um, off road outlaws tunes, but I just never really give y'all Forza tunes. So, this is my Chevelle. It's pretty fast. I like it squatted in the back. I just love all my cars. All right, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all the upgrades before we get to the tune. The engine I have is a 7.4 liter V8. Um, this is pushing 1,750 horsepower. Um, drive train is on um, rear wheel drive, of course. Only thing you can upgrade to the engine is the turbos, but I don't want anti-lag, so I didn't upgrade those. And then we have turbos, but you see we have a blower sticking out the hood, so make that make sense. Again, you just want to get the upgraded um, brakes. You want rally suspension. Everything else, your roll bars, upgrade them to the max. This roll bar, upgrade it to the max. Your chassis, reinforcement, and roll cage. You don't want this because it adds weight to the car. And then, of course, get the weight reduction. If I'm moving too fast, y'all slow me down. Um, just comment down below if y'all like the tune or not. So you want the seven speed transmission. Everything else, just upgrade it to the max. The diff, we have a race diff. I'm not sure if I tuned it or not. I've been noticing if I just leave the factory presets in the diff, it my car drives a whole lot better. But we'll get into that as well. Um, my tires, just make sure you have... Okay, so my tires are not even... Oh, yeah, they are. So, yeah, so just make sure... Nope. We can get some lighter tires but i like i like the setup i got not going on now even though i do need to change it up because that red and gold ain't really hitting but you want factory size room wheels make the tire in the back the 345 the front tire is factory of course i shouldn't have to show y'all this but you want the drag tire set up and then this, I don't really think it matters. I just like the look. So we have that poured out. <clears throat> so we don't have a front bumper. We don't have a wing. And then the hood, I have this. It did help me with my weight reduction. So if you want like any hood, I don't think it really would matter. Except for this is the heaviest hood. It adds seven pounds, but um, it's just seven pounds. So yeah, now we'll go ahead and get into the tune. I have my tire PSI turned all the way down. I don't know why it's saying my like braking distance failed, zero to 60 failed, my top speed 21 miles per hour. It's just confusing me right now. But this is my gearing ratio. Um, just make sure you have it exactly like mine. I went and tested my top speed. Y'all probably see where I cut the video and um, my car was doing well over 21 miles per hour. So yeah, it's wet outside, it's raining, but my car was still hooking. Go ahead and adjust your alignment like mine, except for we don't really have anything done to the camber and the toe, except for the front camber. Your anti-roll bars will have them stiffen all the way up, so just turn that all the way up to the max, to the max. You know how we do on no limits. Basically, I was like, cause I. I'm like, I'm tuning my cars in No Limits drag racing, so let me apply that them tuning physics to this. Pause it where you got to pause it. We're moving on. But yeah, so I started putting my No Limit tunes in Forza. Not literally, but it's starting to work out. So pause it where you got to pause it. I think I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to take a No Limit tune, a No Limits drag racing car and put it in Forza and see how it drives. So... Yo, pause it where you gotta pause it. <clears throat> All right, so now I'll show y'all how the car drives. Hopefully it's dried up outside or it's, and it's not still raining. But yes, it's still wet, so.
Oh, now this road look dry, so let's see what it'll do. I just like to get my tires warmed up. All right. So this is more of a highway car on the like interstate. This car do on um, like 250. I may show y'all that two, 260. Um, I have launch control on. I was about to turn it off, but we'll just launch without it. All right, so my gears are very, very high. I don't know if y'all can hear me over this loud V8. I'm finna blow my transmission up. But um, we gonna go ahead and go to the interstate and see what it's doing. I really don't like how it's performing. I feel like I messed the tune up somewhere and how it was saying um, my top speed was 25 miles per hour. Um, so yeah. I think I'm gonna have to retune it, but this is just like a baseline tune. Y'all can put it in your car and tweak it to your likes. It doesn't really spin off the line. I got traction control off. The first launch, y'all see when I first did it with launch control, it was very slow because it was trying to stop the car from spinning. Well, let's see what it'll do. Let's. Of course. All right, so y'all see it's riding, it's riding. Ooh, they was coming for me. They was coming for me. That thing sounded good. All right, so we finna just go ahead and go back into the shop. I wish it was an actual shop instead of like this menu. But, um, yo, thank you guys for watching. Y'all hit that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. Because I think I'ma actually um, end the video here and start a new video and the next video gonna be about a Chevelle too ain't no need to me making a super long video because I don't have my views are very low right now because I'm very inconsistent but I'm telling y'all I'm finna get active I got over 300 cars y'all most of them custom and I haven't showed y'all about maybe four five of these cars on the video on the channel I have this um Chevelle right here this will be a sneak peek for the next video. Um, Y'all definitely not getting a tune for this. What we finna do? We'll just look at it. So I'm building this car to be a, a street car. I'm trying to race it on the street. I'm in free multiplayer, free roam. Right now, it got the same setup as the, the Chevelle I just showed y'all except for it's on street tires and like race suspension um this car is not hooking worth we're gonna have to pull it out for y'all um it's not hooking at all what is she taking a picture of i 
Oh, I see. It's like three military helicopters. I wonder where they headed to. Oh, she taking the video. It's too late for me to pull out my camera because they gone. So, as y'all see, this car loves to spin. Let's see if we can spin it in fifth gear. Oh, no. See, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, so I'm not going to hold y'all up on... Um, Thank you for watching. Y'all hit that like button. I'm trying to build this car to be a... I already told y'all what it's going to be. But basically, I'm finna all-wheel drive swap this car. So stay tuned for that. And see if we can actually get traction. The reason why I'm just ending the video so short now. Because I've been working on this car for about... Not too long. I built it yesterday. And I've tried to tune and tune and tune for about 30 minutes to an hour. And just wasn't getting it to hook it'll hook a little bit and then continue to spin um if i'm rolling i'll show y'all if i'm rolling at like 60 miles per hour in florida it'll spin so i'm finna all wheel drive swap it i'll show y'all okay we'll spin from here but i said 60. If I wouldn't have let out of it, I would have um, wrecked. See, it's just too much power. Um, 1,750 horsepower. Um, so I'm going to need all-wheel drive. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Comment on the video and subscribe to the channel because we are out. Peace.